everybody. My name is Pepsi. I'm here at Baker's Bodega Express with two really um, famous little, I'm trying to <laughs> squeeze <it. laughs> We have Joyce and then we have Black Magic. I'm going to step aside and let Joyce do her talking and then I'll come back and I'll continue the intro. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Joyce Marcellus. I'm going to talk through some shots. I'm here at Baker's Bodega Express in Baldwin Park and we're here with Mickey. She's going to be doing a demo on cookies using coffee paint. And I'm just here to promote the Cake Bar Cake Show, okay? Baker's Bodega Express is coming to the cake show. They are our elite vendor. We're going to have some awesome products. Show pricing. And if you guys haven't seen, so Laura is going to be teaching to Latina class. If you guys want to sign up, go to the thecakebarcakeshow.com. Don't miss out. July 7th and 8th. Classes are 6th and 7th and 8th. And Nikki is one of our instructors. She's doing some awesome cookies that are watercolor using poppy paint, and they are 80 steam. So, curious, Nikki. Uh, um, <laughs> hi guys. So I'm Nikki. I, um, I'm owner creator weirdo from um, Black Magic Cakery, and um, I yeah I'm really excited about the cake bar cake show. Um, I'll be having a class on Friday for the like like Joyce said the cookies. I'll be showing you my all my recipes, my raw icing and my cookie dough recipe that um, is probably like the easiest and simplest way. And I show you the <coughs> techniques. It's all hands on. I bring everything. You just come, show up. Um, I even give you guys a pen and paper to take extra notes. Um, but as uh, but yeah, like. I'm going to be using poppy paints, and today I'm going to be using poppy paints as well. So, um, and I overheard your class is almost sold out. So, yes. um, there's just a few seats left. So, if you guys want to sign up, um, go over straight over to the <coughs> webpage and enroll. She's teaching these, which is these cookies right here. It's the troll theme, it is an 80s theme. Um, sorry, no, this one. It's an 80s theme um, cake show. So everything that they're teaching or um, displaying is geared towards the 80s. Um, Laura and I will be there. We might have some displays going on and it is gonna be going geared 80s. Um, I think Joyce is gonna doll up and look like Jane Fonda maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I just guessed, but okay, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> um, and that's the show, it's local. It's the first local show that we have here, uh, aside from LA Cookie Con, but that is like a cake show. Okay? So, um, bye Joyce, we'll see you later. Bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> aside from the uh, show in July, we will be at the Women's Expo May 19th and 20th. So if you're in the LA area, just head on over over there. Again, this is not only cake related, it's for everything, your socks, your toes, your nails, your hair, your eyes, your lashes, everything. Um, we might come out looking different. <laughs> if they can fix this, I'm okay. <laughs> and then um, our May calendar is out. Next week's demo, I'm going to be demoing Tres Leches Cakes. And then the following week, I will be doing um, crepes with my chef friend, Lorena. Okay. Um, so super excited. And then the last week of May, we'll be doing cakes in a jar. Okay. June calendar, it is insane. Um, I am just about done with my demos in June. First week, it looks like I'm gonna have the owner and creator of Poppy Paint. Yay. Um, so maybe you can come in. Yeah, I'll probably come. <laughs> come with her. Yeah. It's gonna be on a Thursday that week. It won't be on a Wednesday, it will be on a Thursday. Um, the following week, Celine will be here from San Dimas Cake Bar. I'm sorry, San Dimas <coughs> Cakes. I will not be here that week because I will be getting a tan <laughs> in Puerto Peñasco, just saying. And then, <laughs> And then the week after that, we have Raul from um, the whipped cream. So he's going to do a whipped cream demo. And then the last week, I will be doing a demo uh, with Laura. Laura and I are going to do something. We'll probably do the cupcakes that week. OK? Um, so I'm going to step aside and let Nikki take over. Um, here are some flyers for the cake bar show. If you guys want to leave, just uh, take it with you, because here's the web page. Um, and all the information to get a hold of Joyce. If you have any questions, she's she's 100% resp um, response to all her messages, okay? Uh, good or bad, she will respond to you. So just go ahead and text her um, through Facebook or email, what have you, her and Cass. 
Okay. So now, Nikki from Black Magic Cakery, a local baker, sugar artist, does not only do cooking, but treats, cakes, and all kinds of stuff. Um, go for it. Awesome. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Hi, guys. <laughs> all right. So, um, as part of like what we we're saying, like I'm gonna be doing, I really, really love cookies. Like it was a really big battle though when I decided to do cookies. Like I thought like, oh, I could do that. I see everybody doing it, it's, you know? And um, when I started, it was just, no. It was no, there was just a big no. <laughs> I was so frustrated. I was so <laughs> like, why is everybody else able to get it? And I'm just not able to like pick it up. It was just, and the big one that everybody always has trouble with is consistency, royal icing consistency. So um, usually, like if it's too thick, you're not going to be able, you're going to hurt your hand. If it's too thin, it's just going to go right over the cookie. And um, so I'm going to go over that for you. Like this is what I teach in my class as well. The benefit of coming to my class is that I do. I show you everything. I show you from start to finish. I show you how to bake the cookies. I show you, I give you my whole complete recipe. Um, I show you my royal icing, um, how I make my royal icing. Um, and a lot of people are like, well, it's just powdered sugar and water. Well, I use, um, I use the meringue from here. I like this meringue a lot. Um, I started off, everybody starts off with Wilton. Wilton is, you know, like the, the big G, you know, like, the starter, the starter for everybody, <laughs> but um, but I found this one um, and found it here, and um, I really really like this one. It dries it perfectly. It um, as you can see, like I'll grab my cookies, so it gives it a nice. I mean, it still has a shine. It doesn't like completely like make it like matte. It's really really nice. I really like it a lot. Also, this one lends. It, it dries out shiny. Yeah. Also, oh, like cool. slightly. Yeah. It's. It, this is the it's meringue powder. So um, raw icing is essentially um, powdered sugar, warm water, whatever, um, whatever extract you have. I prefer, um, I prefer um, vanilla extract and, um, and meringue powder, or some people start with, um, with egg whites. So, um, and here at Baker's Bodega Express, it is eight ounces for $9.99. And it'll last yeah, a, a this while. Yeah, this lasts me like a pretty, pretty good amount. I mean, I do, I do roughly around like 10 dozen cookies a week. So um, yeah, that lasts me like a pretty good, I mean, if you're not doing as many, like then it should last like a really long time. But, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna give you guys an insight of how I do my, uh, my consistency. Um, just a really quick. <coughs> So. Does everybody do cookies here? You do cookies, do you? <laughs> like me trying to do cookies. I do cookies. <laughs> I did the, 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 the cocoa ones, not just like <laughs> Lara did them. <laughs> All right. And then one thing I rather learn how to do is cookies. Yeah. I go back and forth. Like I. I love pie. I just love pie. Um, um, I go back and forth. Like sometimes I tell myself, like maybe I should rebrand myself and just do cookies because I love, or macarons, like cookies and macarons only. But at the same time, like I really enjoy doing cakes, like I do. And so I kind of like think to myself, like I'm gonna lose that joy that I get, you know? So, um, so I just keep on doing it. But we'll see. We'll see what I do next year. I'm always changing my mind. But so. This is a dollar at Walmart or Target or wherever um, they do like the travel supplies. And um, it's just a little <laughs> spray bottle. I put, um, you typically want to do at least like room temperature or warmer water because when you do cold water in raw icing, it tends to give you um, bubbles. It'll bring up the bubbles a lot like more. You'll see it. Like. So this is not as warm as I would <coughs> like, but this is just for the demo sake. So what I do, and take your time with this, this is like a very big, I mean, obviously you can't do raw icing, you can't do cookies, you know? 
So um, take your time. You just I usually start with like three or four spritz, depending on how much I have, and just mix it up. <coughs> and so if it has like these little soft peaks, this is good for this is good to make your your border around to keep your your wall your border yeah with my with my recipe it doesn't start off as stiff as most like uh, mine i try to make it like soft because it's easier on the hands easier on the arm especially like i said i'm doing like 10 dozen a week i can't be doing that over and over again so i try to start a little softer if i need something like for roses or something i just add a little bit more powdered sugar and that's another thing is that Raw icing is very forgiving too. So if you go a little bit too much with water, just add some more powdered sugar, bring it back to life, and just kind of, you, you learn. It's all learning. Like even after my class, my students like come back to me, ask me like if they forgot something or they have a problem with it. Like it's really forgiving and it's really easy to just kind of go back and jump back into it. So I'm going to show you the consistency that I like, which is right in between flooding consistency, which is really runny, and piping consistency, which is the border. I, I do because since I like to do it just because I like the no, I don't like to see a border on my cookies. I just want to like border it up, flood it, done. You know, just put it aside. Borders are good for. I mean, if you have more detail work, you know, but like for the ones that I'm going to show you right now, I don't like any border on it. I guess like a nice, clean, flat canvas. If I add more. Where are you located? I'm located in Covina, California. So like probably six minutes from here. Like, yeah. So I'm always here if you guys don't see me. Um, typically in Covina, but I'm always like searching for places to go. So um, I've gone to other people's <laughs> hosts like at their house. Like as long as you guys have like a good space to fit at least like eight people, you know, like I like a small class than a bigger class. Um, then I'll, I'll go to your house, you know, so. So but typically in Covina, I have a I have a little um, like either in my house for one-on-ones, because I do do one-on-one -on -one classes, or if I have a big class, I go to the local, um, the Girl Scout house. They have a huge <laughs> room with a kitchen, so that's even a plus, because I can bake out of that one too. And she's also teaching at the Cake Bar show. So um, that's like, is that the first show that you're gonna be at teaching? Um, yeah, because I've I've um I've only demoed at like oh, other cool. class I mean other um expos yeah. The, the one in July. It's in Long Beach. You'll oh, be on vacation. Yeah. I know you. You're on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the one where I'm gone. So. I'm on vacation till Sunday. Oh, you're going to summer class. What? So the way I check it is I just lift it. I just let it kind of dollop and I give it a little shake. If it doesn't settle right away, I just need a little bit more. So I just do like two squirts. And so Miss Nikki, yeah. um, you love doing cookies? I love doing cookies. What are you known yeah. for? What's like, what makes you pop? It makes me pop. Not just poppy pink, but pop. Well, um, <laughs> I am, um, well, I think what most people know me for is yeah. like Halloween and like oh. spooky Gothic stuff. It? Gothic chic? <laughs> Gothic chic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but I do everything in between. Um, but I like to do a lot of like, um, a lot of painting. Oh, I paint like a lot nice. on my cookies. So that's why I like, because I mean, I don't have to mix all the colors. <laughs> But I usually start with a blank white canvas and then I just add the detail, work with either pop, like poppy paints is one of the ones that I use the most. I've and seen that done a lot now, lately. Mm -hmm. 
How long have you been um, doing this? Uh, two cookies, two years. Oh, really? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. We do have, um, what do you call it? <laughs> when you look at, oh, okay, two years, I can do that. Maybe <laughs> a little more. There is hope. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, um, especially if you take, like, if you take one of my classes, and, um, like, I taught myself through the amazing world of YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check YouTube. out YouTube. There's um, the one, pr the one YouTube that I definitely suggest, especially if you want to like practice. If you want to like use their recipe to like practice and like get like a little more like knowledge. Um, a YouTuber that I follow a lot is um, Haniela. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who? Haniela. A K N I E L A. Mm. Okay, so I have a question, and the question was, what royal icing are you using? She, is, she made it from um, the meringue powder that we sell here, um, the 10.99 for eight ounces, Wesco. And did you say how you made it? How much meringue versus water? No, they get that in my class. Okay, so <laughs> she makes it from scratch. And for her special recipe, just take her class. <laughs> Um, right now, I have only set up for the cake bar show in July. July 6th, Friday. July 6th, yeah. Do you know the time? I believe it's 9, 9.30, yeah. Oh, wow. So it's an early class. This is pretty good. It's set up pretty. So I just drop it, and I just give it a little shake. And... It like settles pretty fast. So I put, get a cup, get a cup for even your whipped cream or your buttercream or any kind of cream that you use because especially a large cup, like I prefer the Starbucks venti cup <laughs> because it'll hold a lot. But um, it's just another hand for you. <laughs> I don't know how I used to do it when I was working in a bakery because there was no, I wasn't like, hey, I need a cup. No, like, I don't know how I did that. I was young. You work in a bakery? What bakery do you work in? Yeah, I, wor um, I, went, to I, went, to, um, I went to culinary school at the Art Institute in Orange County. Oh. And then there was like a little panaderi panaderia. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, down the street that did my um, that I did my externship. It was really small, like oh, mom nice. and pop. Yeah, I was like ten years ago, I think. So yeah. you have a pastry, yeah, chef title. Mm -hmm. Yay! Are you done yeah. with this? Yeah, I'm a bit angry. All right. So in the bag. Oh, another tip I could tell you guys. Um, sometimes with raw icing, like you do it, you follow the rules, you follow the the. Um, uh, what is it? The recipe. Thank you. You follow the recipe and it's still not setting and it's been like a day and it still hasn't hardened enough or anything like that. Um, get um, white vinegar and wipe all your oh, utensils yes. and your bowls down because any kind of oil on those will mix into your raw icing and it just won't set. So definitely white vinegar. And it doesn't, it doesn't do nothing to the taste. It doesn't like ruin it. It doesn't, it like evaporates. It goes away. You don't even know. My husband hates it. He's like this. I don't like the smell, smells, but it works. But I love the smell. <laughs> You've learned to love it. I do. <laughs> and um, the bags I use are um, tipless bags. But if you, if this is just to like practice, like I don't want you guys to go home and like just buy all kinds of like things that you essentially really don't need to start to practice. Um, I started with um, just um, Ziploc bags. Walmart, they sell them for like $200 or something. <laughs> I mean 200 on bags in a pack for like three bucks, sorry. And, um, and they also sell um, a really, um, the smaller pastry bags right here too. And how much are they for mom here? They were on sale last week. Or <laughs> you know yeah, the saying? 12 inch are really good. And <coughs> it's a pack of 100. I use these at home. Um, 
right there. Wee. Got it. Got it. All right. So, and I just got this little swivel thing. Don't need it, but I wanted it. Well, I have that <laughs> one too. Take safe. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, this one's from um, Alcee Sweets. Oh. Yeah. Like, like a little yeah. It's like a small little cake turntable. The cookie countess has one also. Yeah. Oh yeah, she has like the round, the circle the one, circle yeah, one I right? Yeah. I, I, we have a lot of stuff, unnecessary yeah. items. I, <laughs> I do. have one too, but mine is from Amazon. It was like six dollars. Yeah, they're really cheap. <laughs> they're real cheap. I'm trying to wave back to everybody watching on live. I'm trying to be nice here. So you're doing the outline? Yeah, the outline first, and what I did is you touch your cookie and then you just let it, you guide it, but you let it drop. If you try a lot of, like a lot of students when I see, like they try to like write with it and like it won't, your border won't be strong enough. The, the icing will just go right over. So you want to just, I'm just gonna keep <laughs> on doing that. So again, you just wanna touch the cookie and then just guide it to where you want it to go. And then right after you got the border, since this is a consistency that I use for both, right back to back, you just go and I like to go around first and I do little circles to try to eliminate any kind of air bubbles that I missed or just didn't go away. This is chocolate chip. And in my class, I give you six different um, recipes using my same base, but I tweak them to do chocolate chip. Um, what else did I do? Um, strawberries and cream. Um, I do like I do a ton of <laughs> churro flavor. So yeah, like. And how many? How long? How many days is your class? My class is one day for four hours. Are your cookies more sugar cookies or are they shortbread cookies? They're sugar cookies. But they are really like they are still soft and like there's not like there there's no crunch to them like it's just a soft like I really like them. <laughs> Other people like them. <laughs> and then once I do the border around, I just kind of. And for all the cookies you make, which one do you would you say is one of your big sellers? My um the cuter flavor. So um. I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat that question. Um, out of, what was it? Who said it? Her favorite one. Her bestseller best what? Cookie. Oh, her bestseller cookie. You make a churro? Mm-hmm. And then I asked her about how long are your classes? Like, is it all one day? Oh. Or is it very safe? And she said it's one day or four hours. Oh, wow. Mm. So all all right. right. And then I just kind of give it a shake. You know, um, I'm going to talk with Miss Nikki after the thing, and I'm going to see if she wants to come and teach here one day. Kind of just settle. <laughs> I'm just saying. I keep on This is intense. <laughs> just focus more on that one. And then <laughs> this is really crazy. This is cool. That's great. <laughs> um, and then I just set them aside. I do use a dehydrator to set my cookies a lot faster. Um, but if you don't, don't go out and buy a dehydrator. I was doing cookies for like a year and a half before I would like talk myself into it. With every big purchase, I have to like talk myself into like, you need it. No, you don't. You're fine. Like, yeah. So. Um, I don't listen to that part of you. <laughs> I do. I like talk myself into it. Okay. And then we just put them aside. Um, put them on a tray. Let them set for at least... Um, I would say, like with no dehydrator, at least like six hours. Um, if you need like to do another, st <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's it called though? Um, also, um, this is the cutter that I, I, that I use for this. I use it a lot. Um, these are, what I'm gonna be showing you in a bit is how to paint my Nightmare Before Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just use the heart shaped cutter. I use it a lot. I even use it for like, I have a Marvel, the, like the Marvel Adventures. I do like all the characters with a heart shaped cookie. I like, yeah, like I try to 
use the cookie cutter as much as possible. It's not just for Valentine's. I use it all the time. So, and I got it from here. So if you guys want to. The, the cookie cutter is the Ann Clark um, brand and they're hanging on the wall, but I brought in all the hearts in here just in case. There is no more on the wall. I put them all in here. <laughs> you guys get first dibs. <laughs> um, I don't know. Should I just jump into? Yeah. Do you guys want to see me flood another cookie or mm -hmm. do you want me to go to uh, the painting? The painting. Painting, painting, painting. Okay, cool. All right. So. So how long do you let the cookie dry before you get into this part? Without without a dehydrator, I would leave, I would wait at least six hours. Um, sometimes just because like if you're painting and sometimes it's just depending on the weather too the weather has a lot to do with it if it's a very humid day your cookie is not going to set very fast if it's a really hot day it'll take like way less than six hours but I like to be safe because you work so hard on getting the nice you know looking setup like and then you go in with a paintbrush and some people have um, heavier hands than others and it's just then you know and you're just like oh shit where would be without the dehydrator where would be the best place in your kitchen to put it so the question is um without the dehydrator where's the best place to place the um cookie, cookie to, dry. to dry to dry um i try to keep like if you're gonna have it like we're gonna be in our kitchen um presumably um i would put it at least like near the oven because in the in the refrigerator because they kind of kick off the heat so around that area would um guess if you're gonna do a couple of cookies, put it on your tray and put it on top of your um your stove and just let it sit. And you don't find that it dries out the cookie? No, I, I put it in a dehydrator, I use my dehydrator and I'm doing like ten dozen cookies at a time and what I usually do is I have my you guys seen the dehydrators like especially like the black box ones? That's the one I have, so it's a different tray. So I put I literally like I flood a cookie, I put it on the tray, and once that tray is filled up, turn on my dehydrator, put it in, and I do it, and I'm just like a little machine, just flooding, putting in, flooding, putting in, and so sometimes that cookie will be in there. I've had it for like an hour until I take it out again, and then it's off for the next step. What's it called? Like a what an is hour it a, in the dehydrator, mm -hmm, and, and then it's done, and it does nothing. Yeah, an hour? really? You mm -hmm. have it, a cookie? Yeah, because it's at a low temperature. Oh. It's at like, I think like, um, I think I set it at like a hundred. The, so the it's lowest not, it can be? Yeah. Yeah. And it's ready like this? Mm -hmm. Like, oh. yeah, like well. Re it's ready to paint? After. Not to paint. Like if I'm going to do like, other, if it's going to be for painting, I'm going to leave it in there for an hour, let it uh, um, come out and they have to sit for a little bit. For the dehydrator, because it won't to be, yeah, it'll just be to settle it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it honestly, in my opinion, it hasn't done any. It hasn't affected like the cookie. It doesn't dry. It does. It hasn't dried out my cookies. Um, I um, I get it to like a very light brown, and so it's super soft, super you know like, and it doesn't dehy It doesn't dehydrate the cookie. You know like, I've um, bef when I got before I got the dehydrator, that's why it took me a while to. Cause I mean I think the smallest one is like four or five trays that I have. And that was like $80, $90. And even for me, like I'm trying to be frugal here. I'm trying to stretch my money as much. Because this is my job. I don't have a separate job from this. So I'm just trying to get as much as I can. And so I read all the websites. I looked at all the YouTube on like the different cookie makers out there that have done the experiment. Because I was like, this is... Does it taste good after? I, the same thing, you know? I was like, I don't understand, like, how it's... It makes beef jerky. How is it not, like, messing with the, right. the, integrity, the integrity of the cookie? Yeah. Well, the reason why I ask is because when you watch the cooking shows, like the Bake Off... Or the yeah, I guys, saw that. That's cool. Could, <laughs> yeah, the judges always say, well, the cookie tastes kind of dry. dry. Did you put it in the, too long in the dehydrator? Yeah. Or maybe they think <laughs> the temperature too high. Maybe, yeah. Temperature. Yeah. It could be that. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know how that, like... How they're doing it you know because so this is a chocolate chip cookie yeah oh yeah, it's not the regular just sugar cookie no like it's i was not so good but it, she says it is a sugar cookie well yeah. but it's you know how usually you only get sugar cookies oh, right, 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 right. this has chocolate mm -hmm. chip in it yeah cool the chip <laughs> and they haven't um they didn't flare they out yeah right. yeah my my recipe my recipe doesn't recipe. expand 
Um, you can get a, a square cookie cutter, and that square is going to be sharp with my recipe. I mean, I've, I like to experiment. Like on my, when I say like, oh, I'm going on a vacation. It's not really a vacation. It's more like me just messing around with like different recipes. Oh, no, like, no. I go on vacation. I, I go on vacation. <laughs> What's it called? Um, <laughs> your peace out. Yeah. It's just like how do you stop it when you like put in a shape? It's like, oh, it looks like a heart now, but it's Let me tell you, like when I first decided to do sugar cookies, I got the Pillsbury, like the... Oh, the roll. Roll, roll. Yeah, that, that, that is like so false advertisement because like I... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. No, the market. It's for good practice. It's for good practice. Well, it's yeah, yeah it's, yes. a, it's a good practice. But it's yeah, it does not, it doesn't hold its shape mm -hmm. at all. So I mean, like you, you have to, you have to really like, you have to practice. You have to learn what's right for you. It's a science. You have to, yeah, it really is. When I went to culinary school, the biggest thing that we learn is that um, pastry, like um, baking and pastry, is a science. Yes. It's not yeah. like like um, it cooking. It needs to be like, accurate. Yeah, like my uh, my husband, he's a chef, and like he can he can throw in things, take out things from recipe. He can turn anything and it'll just be like it'll be amazing you know like or you put so much salt or whatever you know but you could you can tweak a recipe like for food but as far as like baking and pastry it is like I mean you have to find what works for you you have to find what works for your oven if your oven's off if the weather's hot if the weather's cold it's a whole thing it's a whole spiel of things but I think that's why I like it because it has even though like I feel like me myself, I'm very like going in a million directions at once with <coughs> baking. I think it like calms me down, especially because I have anxiety. So it kind of <coughs> makes me focus and it makes me like just, I'm just in my space, you know? So I, that's why I really, really like baking. So that's why I have all these, I have like, I think I have like seven different recipes for like sugar cookies. So, and you will get that in my. Class? In my class. All seven? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How much is your class at the cake bar? The cake bar is 75. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was answering your questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to. It's okay. I need my, my Are photo. You on Friday? Yeah, just on Friday. Is it normally 75? No. The price for the cake it's the um, price for the, for the cake. Outside of cake bar? 150. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had asked me like what I wanted to do, and I told her like cookies, and I told her you know what, like since it's for the show and everything, and I want like you know like, I mean it's it's, yeah you know so so I was like let's do this. Let me get the picture so I don't mess these up. Oh wait, you guys do, huh? I got it. Yeah, the cookies are right there. The, the, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones. So I'm gonna do four out of those um, designs. So the first one that I really enjoy doing is um, where's my palette at? My um, paint palette. Right there. Oh my god, I'm like losing my mind right now. <laughs> okay. Right. No. Black. Yeah, I really like it, especially because it dries super fast. Package them, done, you know, so. Well, probably uh, paint, you can paint on anything. Even on, um, on chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. yeah. I really love using them for, um, for like, my macarons or, like, the cake pops. Because before that, I didn't, I mean, I'm, I don't consider myself a cake pop maker. But whenever I have to do it, like, I get an order for it, I mean, like, it's just, like, such a, a time saver. Even, like, like for, like, um, like, like I get my chocolate from here, and I even get my um my um the crystals. Oh, the Paramount uh, crystals. Yeah, I get them from here, and um. Well, Nikki go pretty much gets. I get everything, everything here. from here. I'm always here. The only thing she didn't get here was a dehydrator. Yeah, that's Amazon. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you really think about it, like you come here, you purchase everything, you get it now, and you don't have to wait, and you don't mm -hmm. pay for shipping and handling. Yeah. We already took that price for you. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. I, think that's something I didn't get paid for that, but. <laughs> when they come here and yeah. they try to look at prices, yeah. it's like, yeah, you're looking at 
not that, but that. But you have yeah. to add all in the, the shipping. All the prices yeah. here are very yeah. reasonable. Like, and like the um the cake, I mean the the cookie trays that I had, the half sheets. <laughs> um, I before I saw the price here, I figured out that I was spending on Amazon like eight dollars a cookie sheet, and here I think. Um, I buy them for five something. I'll go uh, the full half sheet? sheet. The half sheet. Uh, half sheet? Okay, yeah. I'll go get one like these, right? Yeah, like that's like a main, you know, like that's, and I have Amazon Prime, so I'm not this paying for yeah. Yes. And these are really good quality. Yeah, they're really good. That's assuming that everyone has Amazon Prime, but those yeah. Have it. Yeah. But you know what I mean? You have to pay the shipping. Yeah. Shipping. yeah. yeah. And even with them. Amazon- shaking this. No, it's Yeah, <laughs> it's really. <laughs> what a ding dong. I start shaking the room. The <laughs> have you thought about doing a class at a local library? I have not. We'll <laughs> do that later. Okay. So, um, let's see this one. Can't see that. Let's see. You know, Can I, you see I need glasses. Good? Did you get your My glasses got too? stolen, so. Yeah. I've been cheap and haven't rebought them. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the Jack Skellington one. That one is like probably my favorite one, and it's probably because it's the easiest one. It's just a bunch of stripes, and it doesn't have to be uniform. It's just thick and thin, like as many as you want. And then the, his little bow tie is really super easy to do right. And that's the good thing about poppy paints is I don't have to wait. It dries instantly, and then I can go and do his bow tie real fast. Uh, what cookie are you doing? I'm sorry. The Jack Skellington. Okay. So let's try to get this. Mm-hmm. So and again, you don't have to. And don't forget that um, these this tutorial will be on YouTube and also on um, Baker's Bodega Facebook, so you can always go back and um, look at it. And if you share it, you'll have it on your feed forever. So I start with the, the thicker, the thicker lines. What number brush is that? This is two. Okay. We have brushes, um, the PME brushes here. I'm not kidding. That's what you think. The PMEs are really, really good. Okay, so I just did that, and as you can see, it's already dried. Okay, so there's no wait time. Uh, with um, with watercolor effect, um, see how she's like shaking it. With watercolor effect, you don't need to shake them as vigorously. You just kind of shake them a little bit just to get it mixed up a little bit because you want it to be more translucent than um, how do I say it like then bold and you know what I mean like so the colors will mix and it won't dry as fast um a little bit yeah um I try um <coughs> just just because yeah like they do dry really fast but I mean like once you get the hang of them you know and you see like how how they're wor- how they're working for you it's like it's just kind of like you get it you pick it up it's just um it's a really easy um medium to work with and like I said like I love these for cake pops like the black I dip the <coughs> white the white um merkins the one in the big bag the one in the bags right there yeah so see I don't even look at the <laughs> Um, the Merkins, um, I just dip my cake pop in the white Merkins, um, or even like dip it in like the, the black one, and sometimes it's not as bright as you want it. Get the poppy paint black, and you can just um, paint another layer over it, even over the white one, and it'll cover, and you don't get no stains on your teeth or anything like that. And then, that, I mean, because you like that thing. One time at, a, at the bakery, I... Um, oh, this you look like you ate a Smurf? This um, <laughs> this um, this client wanted black frosting for, I think it was a graduation, 
And I told her, I was like, it's black fasting. Are you okay? And she's like, oh yeah, it's for kids. And I'm like, but it's black frosty. Like, it's going to go everywhere. Oh, no, don't worry. It's for kids. They're going to get dirty anyways. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, by all means, like, go for it. And then they all pose. I know. A well, lot. You want me to simplify your life? Yeah. We now sell it already oh, black. Yeah. yeah, and it's not. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's not. Let me get it and yeah. I'll let you guys yeah. taste it. And I know we've always tried to do, we've tried to do that pancakes, so we're like, we warned them, like, it's going to look somewhat gray. I usually, um, I usually airbrush. If I have a cake and um, I cover it with white um, fondant, I'll airbrush it black. It's more, um, it's a lot brighter and it looks a lot nicer too because it has a, a little bit of a shine. And uh, yeah, I, um, I airbrush it. Same thing with. Do um, you airbrush your cookies? Yeah. And do you use any stencils or anything? Um, I have stencils. Sometimes <coughs> I get a little, well, not that I get lazy, but I, like, um, I guess I like bring it all out, you know, and like set it all up and get the little magnet thing and I guess. So I guess rather just pain myself and just do it, yeah. But I do like stencils. I do. Um, I have a lot of the, um, <coughs> the cookie counter stencils. Mm -hmm. So like for like graduation one, I do use the graduation one, like the little caps one. Um, I think they have it here too. Um, the or the um, stripes. Stripes I always use the stencils because it's just a pain to just yeah, it's just a pain to try to do um, like a whole mess of cookies with like the same cohesive stripe, yeah. But um, for this one, like the cookie that I'm doing here, you don't need a stencil for it. And then, and then kind of just wiggle your hand because you want little wiggly. Does the bobby pins come in on airbrush colors? Um, not right now, but um, I have I have been talking to her and I know she um, she says that she's been wanting to come out with cool. like um, Alex. She oh, asked she about the the airbrush colors for poppy paints. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, she um, and even like um, pens too. Like she's been. Uh, pens will be very really cool. Her. She will be yeah. here the first week of June. Cool. Yeah, and you could like, the owner she's of awesome. poppy paints. Yeah, Alex is so awesome. She's gonna she's come so and fun. do a demo with me. Um, it's gonna be on a Thursday though. Yeah, uh, you think? Yeah, she's <coughs> going to use them also, right? What the Mary color? Yeah. Or no? Actually, okay. So this is. Um, I'm gonna. Go for it. I just, you know, decorated the little bucket of buttercream that we sell now, and it's black. So. Oh, oh sorry, shit. sorry, me. <laughs> there we go. She's playing the camera. <laughs> I know everything's in the camera now. Hold on. Can you change brushes? No, I guess um turn it to its side. Cause it's a th so it's a blunt, blunt straight, and then I just turn it, and it just goes into a skinny. Where is the book? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna talk to. Um, huh? Did my teeth turn black? <laughs> Do I look like Ada Smurf? A gothic Smurf. Okay. So I'm going to talk to Alex. <laughs> and see if maybe she can bring some other stuff that she sells. Because she sells t-shirts too, like this really cool unicorn that's like showing up in rainbows. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I like that one. No, it's, it's so really cool. cute. I, like yeah. it. I saw it at Soko and I was like, I'm going to buy it. And My I daughter would like that. that. <laughs> you decided your <laughs> All right. All right. So I already made black. And um, for my colors, if I do, I don't always do a white surface. If I'm going to do, um, like, especially with, like, character, like, um, cartoon characters, I, I dye my, um, my icings. And I use, um, that's what I use the Americolors for. I really like Americolors. They're like, I think they're, I mean, I've been using them. I mean, we all started with Wilton. 
and then we go to, we find what works for us, you know, and America like this hasn't done me wrong, so. That's what you right now for airbrushing. Yeah, I use um, America for airbrushing. All right. So, so it's already dry. I don't have to wait. I don't have to set it aside or anything like that. I could do his, um, his bow tie. And so his bow tie is, um, I feel like it's probably like the, I mean, probably the simplest thing from him. Um, and it's just like, like little wings sprouting out. And the way I see it is like um, three, just think of like three <coughs> squiggly sticks. You know, just do lines for it. And the way I do it is I start from the middle. And I just, and if your hand's shaky or anything like that, don't worry. And you just kind of drag it out. One. And again, you're not touching the surface. No, this, no, I'm not. Yeah, until I get to the end when I want to get a point, I kind of pull down and release. Then same on this side. So you're applying a lot of pressure? Yeah, I'm like, um, right, yeah, because this one is, um, this one's piping consistency. So... And when I get to the end, you can see that I let go of the pressure. And then you have his little wing. It's a bat, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I never know what it is. And then, so for this one, I'm going to put it aside just because I want it to get a little crust over it. And that will happen. It's, a, it's pretty, um, it's a little bit warm in here, so it'll be really fast. So I'm going to show you the um a next cookie so well that sets still, a little bit the little um yeah guess the little the center face. the face yeah, yeah. all right which one do I have? oh yeah is that a popular color for you as well this one um yeah it's um people people are kind of nuts when i posted them yeah um and these are actually based on um on the artwork of one of my really good friends that's what I like to do a lot. And I guess that's something that probably got me known is that I, I follow a lot of artists, not just cake artists, but like, like watercolor artists, sculptors and stuff like that, and graphic designers. And like, I first ask, like I say, hey, I want to turn your art piece into a cookie. Can you let me, you know, like I won't sell it or are you okay with me like selling it or whatever, you know? And um, yeah, and it's, it's yeah, and plus I don't want to step on anybody's toes or, you know, I'm all about no drama. I'm just in my house doing my thing. So, um, so yeah, so I, I, I approached her. I mean, she's one of my really good friends, so I didn't think she was going to tell me no, but that'd be pretty funny. Um, so she, um, yeah, she was totally for it. And this is probably like the third design that I've done from her. She's an amazing artist. Um, her, she goes by Spooksy Boo. And yeah, she's such a sweet person. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, she's just one of the nicest people. All right. So I'm gonna. This is the um, the rehydrator, and I use it to clean my brush. Mm -mm, not yet. And I guess kind of, it's just to clean it, especially with since I used the black. Do you have a napkin? Do <laughs> 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 you have a non coughing <coughs> napkin? Yeah. All right, and then. Um, you know, I have not done that experiment. <laughs> throw it on, I don't know. You know what, it'll dry so fast that you It'll probably just kip off, yeah. The yeah. All right. So this one. Or you don't wear an apron? No, I'm just saying, like, what if you're, like, because hey, something happens. Something always happens. Something always happens. <laughs> <laughs> apron, apron. Well, All right. How'd you start doing cookies? What made you start? YouTube. 
<laughs> okay. I just really just started watching videos and it was just so satisfying to watch them do it. And it was just another medium that I wanted to accomplish. Like, I like to try things to see. And honestly, like, I tried it and I gave up really quick because I was like, what is this is ugly. I don't understand it. <laughs> And, uh, but then I'm very stubborn at the same time, and I went back to it and just kept on practicing and reading everybody's websites. And yeah, same thing with uh, macarons. Like, I teach macarons too. And um, I, like, um, that was a pain, and it's a very expensive thing to try to learn. So. Yeah, because it doesn't come out right. You're just like, oh. oh. The rule of macarons is you're supposed to attempt it eight times before you master it. Ocho times. This one is going to be the hilltop. Oh, with the moon? Yeah. But how long have you been baking? Did, you, did she? Um, I went to culinary school in 2008, so 10 years. Um, I've had, I worked at a couple of bakeries. I worked at the Disneyland Bakery <coughs> for a couple of years. And um, I worked at, um, my last bakery job was um, at Walmart, the Walmart bakery there. And, um, I had my son, and I just, I couldn't, I mean, my husband was working like three jobs at the time, so he, like, I guess I couldn't, like, I have, after my son, I built so much anxiety, and um, I had postpartum, and I just couldn't, like, leave my son, like, there was just no, like, and so my husband was like, okay, like, it's fine, you know, like, like, go back to school, so I went to school for a little bit. Like I took like one class, you know, and um, this is already dried up. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to school for I went back to school for a little bit, and I just like I just wasn't happy, and I wasn't sad because I I love baking, and I was just so, you know, I didn't want to go back to a bakery because bakery means 60 plus hours a week, and I mean as a mom we don't want to do 60. I mean I totally hand it to all those pastry chefs that are able to juggle it. I'm just not that type of person. Um, and so I guess I am now because that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. I probably do more at my house I than anything. But at least I'm at home and I see him there. I you know. Think, <laughs> I think in a week I work about 80 hours I, a yeah, week. Yeah, I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think I try, I try not to. Oh, this is the... Um, chef master? The chef master. And I get it from here. I think I'm going to buy a couple more. Too. Yeah, they're really cool. I really like this one. It's a thin tip and a paint tip so it's thicker and then but I really like this one because it's a thin um, is that the thick side this is the thin the side. thin side yeah so what are these are there any sellers yeah let me get the packet yeah so um this is just for the border um and again I could do it with the poppy paint but this one just just you know so I start this and I just do little line strokes Yeah, yeah. Especially when I paint, I usually paint all the de like all the colors, all the details. And then if it has like a black liner, I would definitely recommend something like this if you're a little shakier too. So this is the um, the. <coughs> okay. okay. This is the Chef Master um, markers. They come in all colors, or just black. Do you use other? Yeah. Uh, the whole set is $17.99 and then two black are $4.99. And that's not a bad deal. 
there. Yeah. And um, they last a long time. When yeah. we barely got them, I took a box home. Well, I bought a box. And um, yeah, they're still good. It's been a while, too. So. Yeah, I know. I've, I got the, the little ones in there, like. Out really quick. Yeah, this, this one, um, the two pack of the black lasts a really long time. And the same with my colors. Like, I like to use them when I'm doing like, um, like script, like for like teacher appreciation or like um, Mother's Day or something like that. And if they just, like I have a cookie that is just gonna have the name. I just go, I have decent penmanship, you know? So I just go and just, put it in, take my time, and it just, boom, done, you know? You don't have to worry about, like, getting the right consistency, you know, for the writing, and sometimes with writing, like, especially if you're doing it in black, that's the only thing. Raw icing black is not forgiving. So you make a mistake, it's, you're gonna look at it, and you'll be like, man, sometimes you know. Yeah. Get eight. yeah, that one goes in the back of the, <laughs> the pile. Um, so after the little um, lines around, um, I do go with the black, and I make, first I can start with the basic structure of it. put enough lines to build it up a little bit, but I still want the yellow to see through. Questions for me? I'll answer. It's like very satisfying, right? That's what I'm saying. YouTube drew me, and I was like just mesmerized by these these artists, you know. And I was just like, whoa. Oh, I know. On Facebook, I can sit there and watch it over and over. Mm -hmm. and like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What are my favorite um, like um, things on the Instagram, like the story? is the reversal, the rewind, mm -hmm. when like they're piping, but it's like going back inside the vein. I'm oh. just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so good. So I have the, um, I have the hill, and I mean, I didn't like try to follow a rule. I just kind of went in and just, you know, piped, just giving a little bit of um, open space in between. And then with the poppy, This is the black, yeah. I'm just gonna do the shadow, the um, Jack and Sally's um, shadow. I just prefer, I, yeah, yeah. What I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with. I really, I really like the way it just. Probably, I just like the way it looks. You know, like it. I like to paint. I also, I don't just paint on cookies. I paint like on canvas too. So I like to just, yeah, so I guess. So I got a thin tip brush and this doesn't have to be exact. The only rule to this one is Jack has to be taller. I always start with the heads. Just because it's just a shadow. Add Sally's hair. And then Jack is kind of like a stick figure. Everybody's done a stick figure when they were in kindergarten. Unless you're my husband who does like full on portraits when he's five. His mom has gloated to me constantly about this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I get it. He's an artist. <laughs> so yeah, he just, he's just a long, skinny figure. I add 
with his little bow tie. What do you enjoy more the most about um, doing all this? Um, I, like, I was telling them, like, um, I have really bad anxiety. anxiety. And it just, like, it just, it just calms me, like, when it's I'm your stressed escape? out. Yeah, that's why I say, like, when I'm on my vacations, like, if I'm not doing something or baking something, usually on my vacation, I bake, like, I'll bake stuff that I don't get to normally, you know, or, like, pies or, like, um, like, puff pastries and stuff like that. Like, I'll do all of that or conchas all the time. And then... She has a little dress. Oh, it's been an hour, so Instagram only does hour oh, videos. Oh, is it? I'll, I'll do it right now. Okay. Um, and there. Voy a meter aquí un then it gets little stick figures. Sure. Nothing has to be exact. It gets wet. Is it this way or is it this way? Did I lose my way. Okay. All right. He's ready for the center. So, this way. So it's like a little cat shape. Or it looks like more like a triangle than anything. The head. So I start putting the base shape first. Yeah. Like it goes a little flat right here. Mm -hmm. Like a shield. Yeah, like a shield. That's okay. And then for the eyes. So kind of like um, teardrops, like upside down teardrops. So it's the um, it's his um, the bow tie center. It's like a little cat, um, like an evil cat head <laughs> or bat head. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it is a bat. It's a bat, right? I mean, I watched this movie over and over again, and I'm just like, yeah, what is it? The, the spider? Yeah. So you squeeze, and you could do a dot, a dot, and then you can get a needle tool, a scribe tool, or just um, <laughs> if you cut them up, you could give it to them to I'm try. Yeah, I mean, whatever I have extra, just cut them up and you can. And there. It's his little face. Yeah, with these ones, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a break before okay. you start on the next two. No um, then we can just organize our lives yeah. for a second. Okay? So we'll be right back.
two, and then we're going to do two more. And I'm going to set up again a sign. Don't forget that she's teaching at the cake bar show. Sign up. And how, how much did you say your class was? 75. Oh. Yeah, it's, a Friday, it's the Friday morning, and um, it's 75, and you'll be um, learning my recipes, my raw icing recipe. Um, we'll be painting, watercolor effect. Um, it's um, even gold, like how to get, um, like how to use Poppy Paints gold. Um, and Poppy Paints is one of um, my sponsors, along with, um, I have a sponsor with um, Sprinkles. Do you have the, oh, there's a, a sign. I don't know what this is saying. Which one? Is it messing? Oh, it got turned off, that's why. It's fine. All right, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'll be, um, I'll be here at the cake bar show, and I'll be teaching these cookies. The trolls? The Trolls, Cassettes, Gummy Bears, and the Ring Pops. Oh, how cool. Yeah, so you'll learn um, how to complete all four of these cookies. Plus, um, plus, most of the time, I do extra cookies so you guys practice flooding. I mean, that's like crucial to learning cookies is, um, is the flooding. All right. So we did, um, we did the Jack, and we did the, um, the Hilltop. Next, we're going to do um, Sally's dress. <coughs> All right. Oh, Sally's dress. Sally's dress. That Sally. Whew. That girl. So, um. All right. So. 80s. We will get 80s. 80s. <laughs> what are your plans for your business? Um, right now I'm working from home, and um, what if like the momentum like keeps on going, like positively, like as like it hopefully should be. Um, I I never <coughs> thought about opening a bakery, like a, but I want to get like a space like a studio space for myself, but well, that's like, everybody. you know, just to like, cause being in the kitchen and having my family in and out and everything like that, I'm like, don't touch that, remove that, get your stuff out of my space, like, oh. you know, and that's why a lot of people ask me like, why I work at night and it's because there's nobody there. It's just me, quiet, music, right. whatever, yeah. So. Um, if I can get like my own like little space, that would be wonderful. All right. So I start with the lightest color, which is yellow, for her dress. And her dress is like patch, patches all put together. So I'll start with. So when you started that cookie, you did like that on purpose. Yeah, so I did, um, what I did is I outlined all the, the patches and then I just um, filled in little by little. So I fill it in, I wait until it crusts and then I do the patch next to it, wait until that crusts and so on and so forth. Nice. Yeah. How long did it take you to do that? Um, maybe with the, with including the wait time, like, I mean, I'm only waiting maybe like a couple, like maybe like a minute or so to oh, like okay. crust. Like yeah, so it's oh. not like a huge, like an hour, yeah. Like days but again, I'm using the dehydrator <coughs> too. So I put it in, let it heat, it crust, and then I do it. And plus, um, I'm just, the meringue that I get here, the mer meringue powder that I get here is really, really good. Like, I really like it. And that's what helps the most too with the crusting, with the drying part. Let me get a better picture. All right. I could sit here and watch for the whole all day. No, I'm <laughs> gonna sit this away from.
said so many secrets. Yeah. I don't know what else to ask you. <laughs> I'm like... I do that a lot. Like, if you guys follow me, um, I go live at least, like, once a day, I think, for the most part, even if I'm doing something, like, not, like, cookie-related, or I do a lot of, like, um, events and conventions. Well, mostly, <clears throat> mostly horror, <laughs> mostly, like, Halloween. My neighbors inspired. are um, into horror. For Christmas, we gave them, um, I, I see her tattoos. These are her, her favorite characters, and we gave her a big one. <laughs> it was so cool. They're, they're, they're cool. Uh, but anyways, okay. yeah, we, we gave him Frankie. So I messed up a little bit, and there was supposed to be a square here. Okay. Nightmare Before Christmas is my daughter's favorite. She yeah. even named the cat, the black cat, or our black cat. She named them Jack Skellington. <laughs> oh, really? My favorite Tim Burton, <clears throat> Tim Burton movie is um, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Oh. I love Beetlejuice. Do you have cookie thing Beetlejuice? Yeah, I do. All right. And now we'll do... Green, purple, and blue. How long does it take you to do Sally's dress? Um, like the outlining it? Well, just because from everything. start to finish. Um, well, because even though like it's just her dress, like it's different colors, and then on the patchwork there's little designs. So I mean, I, and then I do the stitch work too with the black raw icing. So it's a pretty tedious little cookie. <laughs> And so the stitching, you do it with the roll icing instead of the pen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I wanted to look that, that 3D effect, yeah. Got it. In your set, how many do you make in a set, like six cookies? This one, or is there she did, um, I'm following her design, and she did one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, did she do six of them? Yeah, she oh, did, yeah, yeah, six, yeah. I try to, if it's, if I'm designing somebody's um, birthday or something like that, I try to do at least six, like two each, you know, per dozen. Just because I, I feel like it's a lot, um, it's appealing. It's, it's, it's nicer to give them a little more. Um, and do you charge by the dozen or by what design, <coughs> by the different design? I have a base price, and then if they want gold, or if they want, like, if I have to buy a special, special um, a special, like, um, cookie cutter or something like that, I always, I mean, this is, it's not just my time, but it's also, like, I mean, you have to c take in consideration, like, the materials and everything like that, and all of that is, I think when I first started, I think, I mean, obviously, I wasn't, like, doing crazy, like, design-wise. And um, I think I started with like 20. I'm changing the color, by the way. I think that post that you put on Instagram says it all. Huh? She had a post on her Instagram page about the effects of receiving a cake, what you see and what you actually mm -hmm. get. Yeah, yeah. And it said it very well. Um, apparently, it was from Cake Box. Cake Boss did the original one. Mm -hmm. I saw it on somebody I follow, and I was like, oh, free post. <laughs> yeah. So, how much would you sell, like, a set like this one? Just so, you know, it's... Oh, I'm painting. Yeah, this one, um, for a dozen, I do 50. <coughs> Now, if you want it to be, um, like right here, I'm not gonna go over it because, oh, right here, I'm not gonna go over it because it's very, like her dress is really like um, like weathered, you know, and it's very packed, it's literally patchy <laughs> colors right. too, so I'm not gonna go over it. If you do, like it's already dry, you go over it, if you want that bold color, you just go right over it and it just clears that all up. All right. mm -hmm. 
Sorry, it won't come off. It's okay. And so I, I typically don't do this, but I see a lot of people that use poppy paints. They put a plastic plastic wrap over their palette. I guess because like um like it it'll it'll stay unless you like clean it up um with the rehydrator but you don't want to waste a rehydrator either um but what I do is I mean this is a dollar you know I'm totally cool with the dollar and plus I use the same colors over and over again anyway so so you just keep it yeah, yeah I was gonna say you have a palette yeah. for your okay. different sets of yeah I have two different ones I buy the palette I buy two separate ones And this is what I like about poppy paints too, is that, so to get like a really thick um, color, like a vibrant, bright color, you shake it really well to mix it thoroughly. If you don't shake it, it t gives you an automatic watercolor look, you know? So you don't, you're doing watercolor without actually trying to do it, you know? Um, if you want it to be brighter, you know, then just shake it a little bit more and it like, Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I like your determination. So you're on IG, Facebook, YouTube, all under Black Magic Cakery? Yeah. And if, they, if somebody wants to place an order, how much time in advance do you require? Um, right now, uh, I've been booking at least two months in advance. Good oh. Lord. So besides Hollow, I mean, besides October, October, I'm like completely booked already. Yeah. But that's like... That's what I do. <laughs> Probably October and Christmas. Right mm, Christmas is actually really slow for me. Really? Well, the past yeah. years. I don't know about now. But yeah. Yeah. Nobody thinks of me as Christmas. Really? Yeah. Well, people like to see your. Uh, the Halloween. Yeah. yeah. You don't even get requests for Nightmare Before Christmas for Christmas? Um, I do, but like as far as like being like, yeah, yeah. Your logo, how, how long did it take you to figure out what kind of logo you wanted? That, um, a while actually. Um, I have one of my cousins, it took me a really long time. Like I want, especially with the name, I Googled every idea that I wanted. And if one person had it, I was like, nope, not doing it. It didn't matter if they were in another country. It didn't matter if they were in another right. state. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, I don't want to do that. I want to be me, you know? Yeah. And then I played with the idea of, do I want to, if I pick Black Magic Cakery, am I going to just like cookie cutter, cookie cutter myself to only Halloween, you know? like. Are people going to come to me for graduations and Valentine's and stuff? Are people going to be afraid of me because of my name? You'd be surprised. They are. What's it called? <laughs> um, but it was, you know, but I wanted it to be me. For the most part, I can honestly say about 98% of the stuff that I do is stuff that I enjoy. Like, I just want it to be me, you know? Like, um, for Valentine's Day, I do, I do love stuff, you know? But I also added horror into my, my Valentine's Like, I had like, a, I had like a Beetlejuice-themed um, cookie that they could have bought for Valentine's Day. I did a, I did a, and I remember for Christmas one, um, you know? And people really enjoyed it. It wasn't like, it was different, you know? 
Um, same thing with Easter. I had, I did a Frankenstein cookie that he was wearing Easter bunny ears. You know, I did. Cool. You know, so I, I do. I try out things. If people like it, it makes me super happy because it's something that I like. You know, if they don't, it's okay. You know, as long as I put myself. I try to put myself in. You know, into my work and into what I enjoy, because. If I'm not enjoying it, then why am I doing it? Exactly. You know? Um, so I'm going to mix colors. Oh no. So I have a little bit of green. I was totally going to shake this right now. <laughs> we would find out about the clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Cover that. All right. Yeah. So I wanted to make like a what is it like a teal like an aqua teal. Yeah. So you just and that's a cool thing about it too is you can mix with these. It's not just you know one color. So that's all painted. I like to I like to clean my brushes before like going on just because they will get dry and hard and you just want them to be nice and fresh and when you need them again. Alright. So this will dry up right now. It didn't dry. The reason why it didn't dry instantly is because I was just like grabbing the paint and putting it on because I want it to look worn out. <coughs> this one. So this is Oogie Boogie. And um, for him, the background design that she did was kind of like space, like space, magical, like kind of thing. And then he's like a green, neon green color and then the black on the inside. So, we will do. Let's put it here. All right. So the background's pretty fun and it's pretty, um, there's no rules to it, just basically just, just kind of blot the color around, you know. So I get the blue and I just kind of like blot it around. It's okay if it spreads because that's what we want. Okay. And clean it a little bit. Get the purple. And your class is from 9 a.m. to 1 on the East Coast, right? Yes. Okay. So I can see them now. Yeah, these see like the colors will kind of like mix up a little bit and but this one when you're doing this effect you want to do it right away with any colors that you're going to do with this kind of um splotchiness, you know, you want to do it. Did you do oogie boogie freehand or Yeah. So we'll let him dry. Again, because I was using so much paint on it, it needs a little bit of time to dry. Just a little bit. And we'll go back to this one. This one, we're going 
gonna go back with the marker and she has some swirls right here. She has some crisscross. She has some little dots. This is where the other side comes into play. Jack is so simple, like compared to Sally's dress, yeah, definitely. Have you done anything with the face with the trainer? Yeah. I, um, I, have, um, I have minis of their mask, so I put those in like little, like, um, like I do like the three of them plus a little pumpkin, and I get put in a little four pack, and that's like for, you know, Halloween. All right, so all the designs, are done. I do, I don't, um, I've actually experimented with this one. And um, I've tried them at two weeks, they were good. I tried them at three weeks, they were good. I even pushed myself to do four weeks, but I did not, I do not recommend that at all. <laughs> like maybe not even like past three weeks, you know. I try to do it as, I try to do them as fresh as possible, you know. Um, and um, the reason why I found that out about the four week one is because um, when I do conventions, people will buy them and be like, I don't want to eat them, you know. Like I just want to keep them, but they end up eating them, and like later on, like four weeks later, they're like, it was delicious, and I'm like, when did you eat my cookie? <laughs> and they're like, right now, and I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> Don't eat it after that time. But, um, but it was still good, so hey, you know. Um, but, and I heat seal them too. So I, um, I get shrink, um, shrink um, bags and I heat seal them. So as soon as they're done, heat seal, and boom, you know. So. All right. So if you had a cookie order, when do you start them? Um, okay, so if I have a cookie order for mm -hmm. Saturday, I start them Wednesday. If they're going to pick up. Uh -huh. If they're going to ship out for a Saturday, um, I start them on the Friday. The prior. Ship them out, yeah, the Friday, the week before, ship them out Monday. So the, um, typically the longest um, priority ships is three days, but that's usually like in like um, sometimes in Texas, sometimes in New York, um, are three days. Yeah, I, sh I should. I think I've. Sh I think I've hit everywhere, even Hawaii. I guess don't go international because that, by the time it goes through customs, I don't think it'll be good anymore. <laughs> or customs will be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? All right, and for stitching, it's just little lines. So you tap. Pull up, tap.
This is Sally's dress. Am I too close? And then we'll get to Oogie Boogie. <clears throat> so Oogie Boogie, I usually use the um, Poppy Paints yellow, the what is it, avocado, and green. So. Yeah, plus I don't need it to be, um, like, yellow's actually pretty good. Like, yellow, like, stays pretty bright. Like, this one doesn't really need too much shaking, yeah. So we'll do that one. Yeah, it, like, I think I'm pouring way more than I actually need. You don't need that much, yeah. And I overlap my colors all the time. No, for the most part, I don't. I don't think anything has ever. Right, ruined oogie boogie. All right. I just want the yellow to be the highlight of his face. And then go over it with the avocado. I just added the green to the yellow just to brighten it up. No. Yeah. side of his mouth is going to be black so
Okay. What I did at the end is I just put um, the rehydrator just to kind of like mix the colors all into just to move them around. And I'm going to put a little bit. No, I think I'm good actually. And then once I do the eyes, it'll pop. I've done Harry Potter, like a birthday. I've done Harry Potter, baby shower. I love turning things like that into like onesies. Like that. I, I love baby showers. <laughs> So I've been here for like almost two hours, so, and it's pretty, um, it's like, it's pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I could like, if you barely touch it, you can feel like it, like a little, like sinks, but yeah. But this has been pretty good. Did she um, cut them up for you and give you guys to try them? No. No. She says she's, she's keeping them for herself. So no, she didn't. The cookie? Oh, no. She says that she's giving us a taste. I haven't. No, I have no, not. Huh? She's yeah. going to make them disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I did. All right. Any <coughs> questions at all? Anything? Anything? Huh? Yeah, this is the floor. That's crazy, huh? So who's going to do this at home? Uh, I ain't going to do all that. I'll practice on Jack, making the cookie if itself. If I do anything, it's going to be Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. And, then and the dress is not that hard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The way that you fold it down in the kitchen. Yeah, it's like, you just like, yeah, you the just The other two are a little bit more harder because you actually have to drop. You have to actually... You have to think about them. Like really, you mm -hmm. know, have a more creativity of drawing. So who wants to taste her cookies? Okay, <coughs> so let's do that. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Let's end the live. Um, thank you so much for coming and thank taking time you. out of your day thank to be here. Thank you. <laughs> it was really cool. Thank you.